how you guys are desired. Get in Joshua Parker. And I'd like to have another truthful talk for Get in Joshua Parker session with you guys. This time is for my IGTV viewing audience on Instagram and my YouTube vlog viewing audience on YouTube, of course. Today's topic of discussion will be the power of a praying individual. And when I say the power of a praying individual, you know what I mean, right, born again Christians? Born again Christians, I mean the power of an individual ha- um, who prays on bending knee before the Father. You know, whether it's physically or it's just going into your prayer closet. Which may be either a literal closet of yours or else just some quiet space in your house that's a sanctuary. Like your bedroom or your den or you name it, it could be one. For us gentlemen that may possibly have one, even a man cave. Which, to me, my bedroom is like my man cave. Enough about man caves for now. Alright, let's jump right in. The Bible makes it clear that the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much, or availeth much, you could say. Which means that when you pray according to the Word of God, which is the Word of God, it's effective. And when you do that in a manner that is earnest before the Father, meaning that you are taking it seriously and not taking it lightly, Bless God. That matters very much to God. And God hones in on what you're doing. And he hears and answers. Especially when you do that in faith. Because everything that a born again Christian is supposed to be doing has to be done through faith. Because the Bible makes it clear also. That anything not done in faith is sin. And that's such an important one to take heed to. I'm going to say it to yourself and to, I mean, to myself and to you guys again. Anything not done of faith is sin. Bless Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, I just felt led by the Holy Spirit to repeat that because it's, it's so vitally important that we remember that. Always. <coughs> also, we know that there is power in prayer. But what precedes prayer and also precedes a miracle is praise. If you don't praise the Lord, come in and, and do like the Bible says in Psalm chapter 1, go enter his gates with thanksgiving and go into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name, then you're not showing thanksgiving or giving him gratitude. And what would make you think that if you're not grateful for what he's already done, that he would... Be willing to do more. You need to be grateful for what he's already done first. Amen. And when I say that, I'm not just saying that to you guys, you know, in a laughing out kind of tone. No, I'm saying it to myself as well. Because we all need correction sometimes. Now, with all that being said, let's close out this truthful talk with Gideon Joshua Parker discussion session with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful discussion that we've had on this truthful talk with Gideon Joshua Parker session discussion and we pray that every life that's touched by it that will be transformed every heart will be changed every person's motives will be completely turned around from negative to good and positive you know from bad and negative and I thank you that you will cause us to see your goodness and it's evidential form in everything that you do and everything that you are. In Jesus' mighty name we pray for thanks and ask it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. That's all for now. God bless. Peace out.